Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. It's great to have you here in our office. By proceeding with this illegal impeachment scheme to overturn a decision made by Texas voters just a few short months ago, the corrupt politicians in the Texas House are demonstrating that blind loyalty to Speaker Dave Phelan is more important than upholding their oath of office. They are determined to ignore the law. They have denied me the opportunity to present the evidence which contradicts their politically motivated narrative, and they are showcasing their absolute contempt for the electoral process. Every politician who supports this deceitful impeachment attempt will inflict lasting damage on the credibility of the Texas House, which I served in. The House is poised to do exactly what Joe Biden has been hoping to accomplish since his first day in office, sabotage our work, my work, as Attorney General of Texas. Their plot imperils critical litigation my office has brought against the Biden administration to end the federal government's attacks on our constitutional rights and the rule of law. There is no other state in this country with so much influence over the fate of our nation. And this is solely because of the relentless challenges I bring against Biden's unconstitutional policy agenda. Under my leadership, our state has sued Biden nearly 50 times to end his unlawful, tyrannical policies. In fact, this week, while the Texas House was killing essential bills on crime and illegal immigration and plotting their illegal impeachment scheme in secret. It was business as usual for me. I was launching lawsuits against the Biden administration and predatory corporations. On Tuesday, I sued the Biden Department of Homeland Security to end this, you gotta get out of time. his illegal use of CBP One app that brings more aliens into the country. On Wednesday, I announced a lawsuit against global hotel chain Hilton for violating Texas consumer protection laws. On Thursday, I sued Biden's IRS over his devastating new policy that will impair child support services in our state and across the nation, putting millions of children at risk. Then, I announced a an $85 million settlement that we secured with Volkswagen and Audi over their violations of Texas environmental laws. For us, it's pretty routine. As Attorney General, I'm leading dozens of urgent challenges against Biden's unlawful policies. My lawsuits threaten his destructive attempts to open the borders, obliterate our Second Amendment rights, and destroy our country with extremists tyrannical regulations. In addition to defending Texas from illegal federal policy, my office works night and day to solve cold cases, fight human trafficking, prosecute Medicaid fraud, and hold predatory corporations accountable when they harm the public. For this crucial work to continue, the political theater must come to an end. I'm grateful for the outpouring of support I've received from so many Texans who understand this process is unjust and unethical. The fact that I was prohibited from presenting evidence to defend myself reveals that this shameful process was curated from the start as an act of political retribution. This vote is expected to take place Saturday at 1 p.m. and I want to invite my fellow citizens and friends to peacefully come let their voices be heard at the Capitol tomorrow. Exercise your right to petition your government. Let's restore the power of this great state to the people instead of to the politicians. I hope the House makes the right decision, but if not, I look forward to a quick resolution of the Texas Senate where I truly believe the, ch the process will be fair and just. And now, Chris Hilton, my Chief of General Litigation, will discuss the information that we attempted to present very recently to the committee involved in this process. Thank you all very much. Could you answer Are you going to answer General Paxton? General Paxton?